This video will cover the initial programming of the adult and child quick start modes as well as the initial programming of the custom modes on the AHP300 and the AHP300P transport ventilators from Allied Healthcare Products. When these ventilators are shipped from the company, uh, they come with the quick start and the custom modes locked out. And that's because Allied Healthcare Products feels that it's important that the clinician or the institution set the parameters that they want to use for adult, child, and custom modes. So this video will show you how to quickly and easily enter the programming mode, set the settings that are desired for the institution, and save them so that you're ready to go and use these quick start modes. So the first thing you'll notice is when you uh, open up the, the box and pull the ventilator out, there's an orange sticker here that simply says that these are not able to be used until they're uh, either confirmed or programmed. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn the ventilator on and uh, program these modes. I would recommend that if possible have an oxygen hose available and have your circuit and a test lung available. That'll just prevent any alarms and make the programming easier. Um, we'll go ahead and turn on the ventilator. And the first thing you'll notice is it'll go through a self-check and then it'll start ventilating in whatever settings the ventilator was turned off in uh, when it was shipped from the factory. And you will notice that the adult mode, the child mode, and the custom modes, uh, when you press them, they beep and they will not allow you to use them. Um, and that's because they need to be either confirmed or programmed to whatever settings you'd like to use. So to enter the programming, we're going to start with the quick start mode. You simply press and hold the adult and child quick start buttons at the same time. You'll notice a double beep, then you can let go. And then you'll uh, press whichever mode you'd like to program first, so let's do the adult. Now you'll notice there are settings in here. Uh, these settings, actually, they're in your manual. These are default settings, um, but we go through this process so that you consciously have to say, okay, this is what I'd like to use. At this point, uh, you can come in and change any of these settings. It just works the same way the ventilator does. To change a setting, you'll come in, you'll press the parameter you'd like to change, press increase or decrease, and then press it again to confirm your selection. And we'll just make a couple of changes here just to show you. And let's just raise that airway pressure. And you can also change the ventilation mode if you'd like as well. Um, you can really change any settings on this ventilator uh, that are allowable to be changed in that mode uh, and then save them. So you have all your ventilation settings, all of your alarm settings, and your ventilation modes can all be changed to whatever you'd like. And then whenever you're ready, um, you simply hold the adult button for two to three seconds. You'll hear a beep and you've saved your protocol under the adult quick start mode. Now let's go through it again for the child. Again, you hold both buttons to start, wait for that beep, then you can let go, and this time we'll program the child. Um, for this, I'm going to go ahead, we're in pressure assist control mode, we have our eye time, press per minute 02. I'm going to go ahead and just save this as is and confirm these settings. Whenever you're ready to do that, you just hold that button down for two to three seconds. When you hear a beep, it's saved. Now, what you'll notice here is that we've uh, now saved our adult and child quick start settings. It's just that easy. Um, and when you press the button, it'll actually display it and it'll keep blinking. And what that's saying is, okay, would you like to use these settings? If you don't do anything, it's going to revert back to the last confirmed settings. However, if you view them, and that's the setting that you want to go to, you simply press it again, and it'll uh, start ventilating in the preset mode that you've selected. So that's setting the adult and child quick start. And I'll move on to the custom modes now. To set the custom modes, it's largely the same process, but you're going to use different buttons. Again, they're locked out from the factory, so I'm going to go down here and try and select it. It won't let me, and you'll notice that it's, be it's flashing. Uh, it won't let me go to it. It's still ventilating in child, and then after a period of time, it just cancels out. Um, but if I want to go in there and uh, reprogram it to something else, I'm going to hold this button down. When you hear a double beep, you let go. 
and then you just make whatever changes you'd like. Let's say if we want to go to higher breaths per minute, maybe take it to volume SIMV, whatever settings you'd like to save it in. And when you're ready to save it, for the custom modes, because we don't have two buttons and everything, you simply hold down the custom mode and press the mode selection. So hold and then press mode selection and my custom mode 1 is now saved under these ventilation parameters. Custom modes 2 and 3 can be programmed using the same process we used for programming custom mode 1. Here are some final tips when performing the initial custom mode programming. At any time when you are in a programming sequence, pressing the cancel reset button will exit you from that programming mode without saving your settings. Therefore, if you get an alarm during programming, it's best to allow it to occur and save your program before canceling the alarm. On the custom modes in particular, the save sequence must be done within two seconds or else it will exit out of the programming mode without saving the settings. So be ready to press and hold the custom mode select button and then immediately press the mode selection button to ensure that your settings are saved. This concludes the process of initial programming of the quick start and custom modes on the AHP 300 transport ventilator. In the next video, we will cover the process of revising the quick start modes and the custom modes.